Hi. If you ever encountered a uh, sort of uh, freezing or black screen, or you while you are gaming, suddenly your screen turned black, and there's a sounds but no response, or you. Uh, screen just freezing and giving the continuous uh, noise sounds like uh, as you while you're playing and you experience this you you mean uh, you know what i mean or uh, suddenly your uh, pc just uh, shut down or turned black and then there's a blue uh, screen of death comes on or your pc just suddenly restarts without no specific reason this is the right video for you well, I'm going to convey my experiences with all these uh, sorts of things that happened to me during my uh, history of building up uh, of my own PCs. Well, I'm first I'm going to uh, explain the first uh, problem, which is the continuous freezing. Like I am playing a video games, for example, and uh, the game just uh, the frame just locked on. And uh, there's a continuous uh, sounds of freezing, and nothing, no response at all. O only if you, uh, what you could do is uh, restart the PC from the button. Well, this sort of uh, problem uh, is uh, referred, to, refer uh, oh, sorry, refers to a uh, dying motherboard. If you have encountered this kind of problem, it's due to a dying motherboard. Uh, after a few days or months your uh, motherboard would die or stop so that's my first problem i just replace my motherboard and the problem just gone no uh, issues related to graphic cards no issues related to ram or any sorts of this thing well the next problem is also happens to me uh while i'm playing uh the the queen locked and then blue screen of yet comes on like BC just to start with no specific reason. Well, I just tried every solution like changing my graphic cards to another BC, but uh, at the end I found that uh, uh, it's due to a bad uh, SSD or either or any kind of storage device, either SSD or hard drive. Uh, if you have a bad uh, hard drive sector of it, or you have a bad uh, solid state drive, uh, you might experience this kind of problem like uh, the while we were playing, the game just freezes and suddenly you're starting or oh, blue screen of death. This also, uh, I also forget to mention that uh, the first problem, which is a continuous freezing, like no response, the, the entire piece won't response, not uh, automatic start or any kind of this thing. This either could be due to overheating. So either the first problem is the continuous uh, freezing and the only sol solution is to restart it manually from the button either to overheating or to a bad motherboard the second problem is, is uh, uh, freezing and then suddenly restarting or oh, there's a complete jam jamming of the uh, first well at, f at first the uh, the frame uh, or oh, sorry the yes the frame just stops but you could uh, barely move the cursor around but then also the cursor stops so this is refers to mostly to the uh, uh, bad uh, solid state drive or hard drive. This is the, f the second problem. The third problem is, uh, uh, which happens to me early, that when I'm playing, for example, I was playing uh, Starfield or uh, uh, Resident Evil 4, the game, the uh, screen just uh, suddenly the screen went black, the monitor went black, like there is a cut in response between the PC and the monitor. But there you could hear the sounds or audios from the game, or if you are on a video call, you could hear everything, but, but there's no response. Well, this kind of problem, I th first I thought uh, I was playing around with the... With the MSI Afterburner. I thought at first it's due to a bad power supply. At first I thought it's a bad power supply, so what I did is uh, the power limit, I just shift it a little bit to a lower volume, uh, to a lower percentage, and then uh, accept, I accept or apply, and then playing the game. Uh, what, what I could see is that by using the uh, Revert Tuna Statistics server, that the wattage, when it reaches above the 
200 watts, the uh, second just turned off. So that suggests that it's either due to a bad, uh, at first, due to a bad uh, uh, video card or to a uh, board power supply, like there is a complete uh, failure in, uh, offering uh, a required uh, amount of voltage. So I thought at first that it could be the power supply is the culvert. But I uh, desperately said I might, there is something uh, wrong with my graphic card, like I left it for too long and there is accumulation of uh, dust maybe. So I uh, disassemble it and removing the video card and I'm just using a spray, electronic spray like this and uh, that uh, fastly evaporates. What I did is uh, spraying the entire GPU, but you must first you must disassemble it. Like you need to show the actual board. You need to remove these secures and uh, remove the other secures until it comes around. Uh, it comes off like this thing. It comes off like this thing. So what you need to do first is to spray every bit of the transistors and the capacitors uh, due to a bolt up of dust and uh, I. I thought the and uh, what I really believe that there's some dust uh, could be over the pins here, so I uh, sprayed that that uh, uh, piece of uh, the graphic card or this part of the graphic card, and then using a brush gently to uh, brush away. Uh, after this, there's some sorts of pads, uh, some sorts of like uh, residual pads over here, 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 uh, from the uh, another. Uh, piece that uh, has this uh, uh, heat pads or thermal pads over that would cover this. So I just uh, clean all these uh, things in the other transistor, I don't know what the, this exactly. Uh, uh, clean it gently until it shows the uh, sign or marks of it. Uh, and uh, also uh, cleaning these parts, you see these uh, Bins, small bins. You need also to clean this and gently apply the thermal based, but uh, ensure it's so minimal that it won't cover all these uh, things. What they say mostly that uh, when the VRAM is overheating, the VRAM it won't show uh, on the uh, sensors, so you won't know what's the actual uh, temperature of it. Or one of these parts when it's overheating, it causes this problem of uh, like uh, complete. Uh, cut out of the video card. So gently also, uh, clean the, all these parts and clean these parts. Also clean these parts of the graphic card. Uh, and also clean the BSI Express, the uh, connection that the uh, video card should be installed on the motherboard. You also use the spray and uh, spray these uh, holes. But one wait a little bit until the uh, uh, that spray got completely over evaporated, and then you could just uh, basically install the graphic card, and my uh, b uh, problem suddenly goes out or faded. I thought at first it could be due to the power supply, but uh, unbelievably it was the due to a dust over accumulate on the video card. The also the second problem it could be due to uh, our outdated graphic card. So first at all. At first, before any uh, one of these steps you should do, check the uh, software before the hardware. Update the video card, if update the uh, any outdated uh, drive uh, drivers, and if the problem persists, in that case, you should go to the hardware. I'm for the hardware. So this is all my solutions to the problems. And thank you.